Hi everyone, welcome back to the last part of our Houdini particle project. In this chapter, we're going to talk about how to render your image in Mantra. So let's get started. So for you to render anything in Houdini, you need to go to the out context. So let's click on the object level and switch it to the out. And here you can type Mantra. Mantra is a built-in render engine uh, in, with Houdini. So, and you can see we have our camera here. Make sure it's our animate camera in the object level. So it's the camera here. And let's go back to the out. And make sure you go to the rendering tab here and switch the render engine from ray tracing to PBR and turn on allow motion blur here. In order for Houdini to render motion blur, you uh, turn on the allow motion blur is not enough. You need to also go to the object tab. So these red ones are the ones we set to render. So in uh, for each one, you need to go to the render tab and go to the sampling here and turn on velocity blur for each one. So go to the render particle here, go to render tab sampling velocity blur and do it for each one now that we have turned on the motion blur in mantra we can go to the tab on the right corner you can see the render view here click on that and make sure you select the right camera so go to the cam one and hit render now you can see we don't have light in the scene and Houdini creates a default light and we don't have material in the scene so let's assign material to the character and create a light in the scene in order to assign the materials, you need to go to the material tab here. So switch object to material and we can create a principal shader. So principal shader is a PBR shader, just like the shader in Arnold, it's called AI standard shader. And in Blender, it's called, I think it's called principal shader as well. They are the same. They are all PBR based shader. So let's rename it to characters and we can go to the textures here we can turn on base color base texture base color and go to the texture here go to the dollar job and find your texture so mine is in the geo folder and settings idle here and you can see our diffuse normal these are the two maps we can use. So diffuse go to the base color and to your, in order to assign our normal map, we go to the bump and normals here, turn on enable and go to the texture path here, select normal here, click accept. And now the shader is down for character. We need to assign shader to the character in our object level. So let's go to the object level here and select the node here. You can see here there is a material tab. So click down the icon here, go to the mat, select our characters and hit accept. And now you can see Mantra is uh, rendering with the materials. And now we can add a light in our scene. We can stop our render by clicking the red icon here. So we want to add an environment light. So let's type environment light. And we're going to use the environment map, which is a HDR uh, image. Uh, we're going to go to the, uh, Houdini already provide us some default ones. So we can go to the Houdini picture HDR image here and just select one you like. I'm going to select this one, hit accept, and render this again. And 
now you can see the light is much better than before because the HDRI provides a more real realistic light from the image and now the character material is down and the lighting is down we can move on to the particles now let's stop the render and we can go to the out context we can go to the objects tab here you can see candidates objects are set to stars it means everything in the object level will be rendered if your view flag is on so we don't want that let's delete this it's we want add rmdr underscore star false object is uh, whether if your even if your view flag is not on object this will be rendered in the scene so and the thing I type here is means uh, any uh, node with the RNDR name no matter what's behind the underscore it will render so let's go to the object level you can see I named this with RNDR underscore so no matter it's called particle lines or called particles or called characters these are gonna render so let's go to the out context again you can select the icon here you can see these four nodes are selected so these are the one gonna uh, render in mantra but for now I just want to render our particles so let's select 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 our particles here and hit a set pattern pattern here and go render it you can to you can see two spheres in the scene let's go to another frame maybe frame 35 now you can see it's much thicker than what we create in the viewport if you go to stop the render and go to the viewport you can see in frame 35 the particles are not that big so what's the problem here the problem here is we need a p-scale attribute for the particles so that mantra knows the scale of each uh, the scale of each particles so let's create it so go to object level go to render particles type attribute wrangle here and connect it and in attribute wrangle we can type at p scale equals 0 0.1 and now go to the render view and render it again you can see the size of the particle are changing so it's still too big we can check type 0 0.01 now you can see it's much better maybe 0 0.005 yeah I think it's good let's stop the render and now we want to add materials to particles so let's click the icon here the new tab and go to the new tab type we can find a material palette here so this one here are the presets for each materials so we're gonna use a constant uh, we're gonna use a glow materials and then we go to the object level and select material level here and we can see our glow materials so let's name it glow particles and go to the object level find our render particles in the material here we're gonna select our glow particles okay. and go to the material again 
let's adjust some color of the particles. Let's turn on the render. And let's enable emission. And you can change the emission value here. I think two is good. You can change the girl ramp rate here as well. I'm gonna say okay. I'm gonna say eight. Okay, I think it's good enough. Let's stop the render. And let's go to the out context. Now we're gonna render our everything here. So change the particle to star. So we're gonna render everything. Yeah, hit render again. Now you can see our sphere light source doesn't have material and our lines doesn't have material so let's add that stop the render and go to the material tab here we're gonna use the same material so let's copy and paste ctrl c ctrl v or you can just out and drag so let's call this glow particle lines and let's call it glow light source and go to the object level and assign each to the each material to the node so the particle lines is particle lines here light source I'm gonna select glow light source here and go to the material tab and turn on render again Now let's adjust some color of the materials. So for particle lines, we can change the color to maybe red. Okay, and for the light source here, maybe red as well. Or maybe yellow. It depends on you, so you can change whatever color you like. Then we can change the emission to maybe 10 because it's a light source. Well, I want it to be pretty emissive. And let's change this to 60. Maybe red. So I'm gonna stop the recording and tweaking the colors. Hey, I'm back. So I think that's good enough for my uh, render. So what I do here is just changing the color and the emission here. And I go to object level and tweak the uh, radius of the line and maybe change the uh, scale of my light source. So I think I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with the result here. And we can add like glow uh, and glow and uh, and the good thing is we can add the glow more in the post. So when we render out our image, we can go to Nuke or uh, After Effects and add glow later. So one more thing I want to cover is that let's go to the scene view here and you can turn off the HDR image by selecting the environment light here and you can disable the light in viewport so let's render this out so go to the out here select mantra and go to the images here and you can see it's set to render current frame I want to set to render frame range 
So it's gonna render from frame one to frame 72. And make sure the camera is set to our camera one. And you can see where the we're gonna uh, render this out. This is the path here. You can middle mouse click on the output picture here. It's gonna show you the path. So it's gonna render here. So dollar heap is our uh, project path and it's gonna put the in the uh, render tab uh, render folder here it's and it's gonna render our EXR image so now let's click on render to disk and we will I will see you after render hi my render just finished so I open nuke and let's import our render to nuke you can use any other software you like I'm gonna use nuke so my render are in my render folder so let's drag and drop in the nuke and hit one on the clipboard to view and I like to set my workspace to large viewer so you can do color correction on it so you can type color correct you can change the saturation contrast uh, uh, gamma here but I'm not going to change it and you can also use a grid node here to change it black and white point <coughs> and also you can add a glow node here you come with a glow node which doesn't it which is not too good I download a glow node uh, from Wiki, uh, new Kipi uh, Nukipedia uh, which has a uh, better effects so I'm gonna use the glow exponential one and you can change the size here change the intensity change maybe the fall off and let's go to the first frame and hit L to play I think that looks pretty good. Now let's export our uh, renders. So uh, hit W, which means right. And connect this to the glow exponential node here. And to export our file, we need to uh, select the folder icon here. And the path I want to export is to the video folder in my project file so go to video and copy the path here and paste my path here and type render dot, dot jpeg I mean dot exr save and we can hit render here to export our uh, image so okay so it's exporting our renders now now we can go inside folder and let's play this So that's all for my Houdini particle project. If you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button and see you in next project.